In this video, we will learn how to build RAG using the open source models like LLAMA2. RAG that is Retrieval Augmented Generation is a feature that enables custom chatbots to respond with our given knowledge base. It helps us majorly in two things. First, giving us responses that are information rich and second to reduce hallucination which is a major problem with many large language models today. For this tutorial, I will give you a quick code walkthrough on Google Collab. And by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to build your own RAG based custom chatbots that will be ridged with your information that you will be feeding. Okay, let's get started. So first understanding RAG. So RAG uses two components. One is the external data source. It will be our vector DB that will be a house of many embeddings and second is the LLM. So the LLM that we use here is an open source model, the LAMA2 model. For LAMA2 model, you will have to get access and to get the access, you can fill this form that you can find on Meta website. And once you fill this form, you will easily be able to get the access of this model and they do it pretty fast. So once you get the access, you we will be using LAMA model with Hugging Face transformers. So on Hugging Face, the LAMA model has already been uh, integrated. So once you go on the website and search for the LAMA model, you can find this model here, listed here. So this is the model ID that we are going to use. So these are the steps to follow. First, we'll be importing the required libraries. So these are all the important uh, libraries that we will be using in our entire tutorial and to build track. Okay, so we have successfully installed all these libraries. Now we will start with inferencing the Lama model first. So for that, as I mentioned, we will be using transformers. And from torch, we will be using the device type that is CUDA and B float 16, the data type. Okay. We here will require a model ID, the model that we are going to use, and then the HF auth token. So we can get this model ID from Hugging Face itself. This is the model ID that we are going to use. And for the HF auth token, once you get the access guys from this uh, form, you will itself get uh, the HF token on your hugging face. Make sure just you log in with the same ID. The credential that you give here should be same with the credential that you give here in the hugging face. So access tokens. This is your HF auth token that you can use to access this model. Okay. So we will be using a quantized version of this model and for that we will use bits and bytes. So we will use bits and bytes that, that are integrated with transformers and you can find and you can find it on the transformers documentation. So on transformers documentation when you go on quantization and see how to use bits and bytes. So this is the integration that you can read and understand. And we will load the model in 4-bit. So bits and bytes config and load model in 4-bit. So load in 4-bit will be our first argument. The second parameter that we pass here is the 4-bit compute data type. That is the B float 16 that we have imported from Torch. The quantization type will be normal float 4. And we will be using double quantization method for loading this model. Okay, 
so we are done with it second we need to load the model config so we can load the model config from transformers auto config so here it is from pre-train model we will pass the model id here and the second argument will be the authorization token that we have got okay so we have lo loaded both the config files one is for the quantization config and one is for the model config so it has been successfully downloaded now let's load our model to load our model we will using use transformers auto model the model has started to download here okay so we have successfully loaded the model on gpu uh, since the model is loaded let's now download the tokenizer for this model as it is a transformer model so we will require a tokenizer to encode and decode the input as well as the output so for the tokenizer also we will use transformers dot auto, auto tokenizer it was pretty fast so we have downloaded the tokenizer here now we will load the model in a hugging face pipeline so what hugging face pipeline is it's an abstraction on how to how to use the LM models uh, and at the back end the code run, runs behind that so we just need to pass the tokenizer in the model to the pipeline and it will do the entire work so here it is okay so we have successfully uh, initialized transformers pipeline in this object named get response now let's test this model to generate some output for us so our query is let's say what is a smartphone explain in one line so when we give this okay so it has generated a decent output okay so let's combine this pipeline with a hugging face uh, uh, like hugging face pipeline of langchain so from langchain we will import hugging face pipeline and then we will pass the hugging face pipeline into an object of named llm here an argument will pass the pipeline and this this is the variable in which we initialize this pipeline right so okay. now we will again test if we have done it successfully or not so it has generated a full paragraph of what is smartphone let's now use langchain vector data data stores and import files from it so what files does is it creates a vector store in your local uh, in your local memory and that vector store consists of embeddings the embeddings that we will generate again using an embedding model then we will need a document loader to load any external document and then convert that document into uh, chunks document loader that we are going to use here is pymu pdf loader along with this we will use a text splitter that will split that document into small chunks and for this we will use recursive character text splitter from langchain again uh, we will create a function that will take a name of a file for which we need to create chunks so it is 1157 so we have converted a complete pdf file with a chunk size of 500 into 1157 chunks now let's convert these chunks into embeddings and for embeddings we are going to use an embedding model and the embed embedding model that we are again going to use is from hugging face itself so in models only we will be using bge large okay so we have successfully loaded the uh, embedding model also now let's create a function that can return us a vector db it might take few minutes okay so we have successfully created the embeddings and it should be stored here 
if we see so here are the embeddings in our local right so we are just checking the accuracy of embeddings that we have created so vector db dot similarity search with the so so what it does it creates embeddings of the text that we have chunked and now whatever query that we pass it will find again for the given query also it will convert the embedding and then it will it will find the nearest embedding that it finds among the chunks that we have already uh, created embeddings for and it will return us the the nearest possible the nearest possible uh, output so it has returned me these documents so as we know that the document that we have chunked is an ipc document indian penal code it's a, it's a law document build a retrieval qa chain out of it now we will build a retrieval qa from chain type so from chain type allows us to build a chain that stuffs the information so whatever information that has been found from vector db all this information will be stuffed into a single paragraph or into uh, a combined summary and that information will be stuffed into the llm so llm is the first argument that we pass second is that we specify the chain type and as i said that we will stuff the information so chain type will again be stuff second uh, the third argument will be retriever that we pass okay so vector db dot as retriever comma return documents so there is an argument return source document so what it does it it also gives the document based on which it has given us the output so we will be able to then know that whatever output the llm is giving us is because of what source documents so we have prepared this drag pipeline now let's see if it works here okay so it has successfully loaded so let's now first big uh, test the rack pipeline with some common question that only can be answered from ipc document so it can be what is the punishment for using criminal force to any person so it has given me this result so it has given me a very specific answer of this query and if let's say if i try to ask the same question from, directly from the llm okay so we have got the output here so if we try to read this entire output you will see that it is not too specific it's only descriptive so this is what the entire uh, thing rag is and we can differentiate the rag by providing more information rich documents and we can customize this rag based on what number of documents we pass it cannot be limited to one pdf it can be limited to let's say thousands or maybe hundreds or even more than that uh, documents or files that we can chunk and we can give it to the vector store and then retrieve the right uh, right document and feed it to the llm and get the right output so yeah that's it okay guys i hope that you have enjoyed the video and have learned the major concepts out of it if you still have any problem let me know in the comment sections below